actually have Karen from Encounter Bay. If you can come and make your way down to see Michelle, you'll be up next. So you've got three minutes or until the gong hits the gong. Gong hits the gong? Until hung hits the gong. <laughs> oh, I'm not the comedian. Right, here we go. Matty, take it away. Um, before we get the show started, I have to make you aware of a safety precaution. Very important. For the sake of all passengers, staff and crew on board, Please, no one, or everyone should refrain from ringing the gong. You don't want me thinking it's dinner time. <laughs> um, now, I will get someone to shift this out the road if that's okay. It's a bit like a bad commercial for weight loss, you know. Before, <laughs> after. <laughs> Um, I have actually tried to lose weight many, many times. In fact, I got so desperate, I became a vegan for over a year. I know, scary thought. Now, the food wasn't so bad. The worst thing about being a vegan was being asked what's the difference between a vegan and a vegetarian. Well, let me clear that up for you. A vegetarian, uh, sorry, a vegan is a vegetarian who's completely lost the plot. A vegetarian has given up on meat, and a vegan has given up on life. <laughs> I'm, I have to admit uh, that P&O did an excellent job of checking. Did anyone else experience that? It was really clean and fantastic. I was in through like a breeze. But I do have two complaints. The first one was that when I checked in, obviously I got a wheelchair lent to me, just to make it a bit easier to check in. And I'm going through security, and when I get through the gate, security swarm on me with all these mirrors and things that are checking under the wheelchair, on the side of the wheelchair. I'm thinking, God, I hope there's no bomb in this wheelchair. It's not even mine. <laughs> they think they check before they put you on the chair. <laughs> so anyway, that was one problem. And the other problem was, Questions. All these questions. Like, for example, can I see your boarding pass? Have you downloaded the app? And what are the first Prime, uh, uh, Prime Ministers of Australia from Edward Norton through to uh, Edward Barton through to whatever his name is these days? Uh, I don't know why they wanted to know the last one. But of course, the most important question was have you done your rat test? Why do I need a rat test? I cut my tail off two years ago. <laughs> of course, they're a bit slack on the old uh, COVID these days. There doesn't seem to be any mask wearing or distancing anymore. Um, in fact, it's so bad, I got on board and the first thing I heard was some guy asking the bartender for a glass of Corona. <laughs> but uh, I must say also, the food. Fantastic, I love the food on board. But still, comes the questions. Do you have any food allergies? Do I look like I've got any food allergies? <laughs> Actually, which I think is really good comedy. I loved your joke about vegans because aren't they the worst? <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I'll give you nine and a half. <laughs> hello, hello. This is Wilsey. <laughs> You'll turn you up. Yeah, um, darling, you are so delightful and I agree with everything you said about check-in. <laughs> Bloody app. I'm 79, I don't even know how to turn on a computer. <laughs> um, but you are fabulous, I've given you nine. Oh, um, 
what was so lovely was it was all about where we are and what we're doing and that is the key to really just pre being present and, and what I also loved was your, you were so clear, your enunciation and you just took it at the most lovely pace, we heard every word, I'm giving you nine and a half, I thought you were great. I was thinking the same thing, you've got a voice that's very relaxing and nice, I do enjoy it. I was going to give you ten, but I am vegan. <laughs> Also gets minus one. So. <laughs>